Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs. Today we're going to be talking about how to design a system on your Squarespace website that takes your client from inquiry to booking a session with you and how you can get this to be a completely automated process so that you don't have to touch anything. And I do this with HoneyBook. Now HoneyBook is a CRM, which is a customer relationship management system, which essentially is a fancy way of saying they deal with all things to do with your client relationships. So contracts, payments, invoices, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and so I use HoneyBook to do that. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I am a HoneyBook uh, affiliate, and so I will link a link below this video where you can get 50% off your first year of HoneyBook. Um, however, I became an affiliate because I love it so much. I do not um, advertise products that I don't use and that I haven't tried out myself. And so I do use HoneyBook in my business um, all the time. And it, it is completely made my, um, from a client inquiry to booking a coaching call with me is like five seconds. <laughs> it takes like no time at all for them to do that. And it takes maybe two more minutes for me to send them a contract and invoice and then them two minutes to sign and pay. It's, it's very efficient. And so I wanna share that or some of that process with you today, specifically looking at doing a contact form where they can provide you information and then book a call time with you. Um, all on your website. So there's a couple ways that you could go through this process. One is purely using HoneyBook, and two is using HoneyBook and Acuity or Squarespace scheduling, and I'll show you both ways. Um, if you're just using uh, HoneyBook purely, then you only need to add one page, and this is the page your contact form or your inquiry form will sit on. Um, so I'm going to add a blank page, I'm going to name it book a session. I'm going to edit the page and add a contact section. So I'm going to find the contact section and I'm going to add this section in. Instead of contact us, I'm going to put book a session. Then I'm not going to use this form, I'm going to use a HoneyBook form. Um, so I'm going to click Save and go over to HoneyBook. And again, I do have a link below for 50% off your first year. So I've created a, a new business called Squarespace Tutorials and I'm going to use this to show you how to build a contact form. So first you're going to go to Tools and then Contact Form. In here you can name the form, whatever you would like. You can have whatever uh, questions you need from them in order for them to book. You can add these by clicking on the plus. In here you can add text or images, or you can ask questions such as, you know, in two fields or short, long text, drop downs, the radio button, multiple choice. You can have them um, pick a date, um, but if you're going to have them book a session with you, you don't necessarily need that. Then in this design tab, you can change the colors and fonts to be on brand to your Squarespace website. So I try to get this as close to the brand that you have on your Squarespace website as possible. And then in the settings, you can either have it display a thank you message, you can send it to a URL, which is what we're going to do to send them to a booking form. Um, and you can also automate these so that it automatically assigns a project type, which starts an automation of emails and things like that that you can set up. Once you are completely happy with this form, you're going to click publish and then copy this code. So you're gonna click copy code, go back to your Squarespace booking page, click edit, we're going to add above this form, we're going to add a code block and paste in the code that you copied from HoneyBook. And then you can delete this form. We no longer need this Squarespace contact form because we have the HoneyBook form and click save. Okay. Now your HoneyBook form will be directly embedded on the page and if you've changed the fonts and colors, it should just look seamless um, as, as if it's a Squarespace form itself. Okay. 
Now, if you are using um, the HoneyBook scheduling, because you want them to go from here, you want them to book an actual call time with you. Then in HoneyBook, we're gonna go back to the home page, go to tools and scheduling. From here, you can set up a meeting type. So let's set up a new session type. And maybe this is a um, engagement session. Okay, and it's going to be in person. You can set the time, the time zone, how long it's going to be, um, when it can be scheduled. Again, you can choose a color and display some extra information. You can set um, a reminder the day before, an hour before, and then you can set your availability. So this is when they're able to book. Okay, so you can set it as a regular um, time on here. You know, you, every Monday, let's say you're gonna have sessions open. You can set a buffer so that you can't have clients like back to back. Um, you can set a minimum time, which I recommend. You don't want them, you know, booking Sunday night at midnight for an early morning se session on Monday and you don't know. So I'd set a minimum time. Um, and you can also set custom increments. Maybe you want it to be on the half an hour instead of on the hour. And then you can change what the message is on the confirmation page. Um, and again, customize your emails. Do you want it to send them a confirmation email? Do you want to allow them to reschedule and cancel? Once you've filled out all the information, you're gonna click save and finish. You're gonna copy this code and we're gonna paste it on your contact form so that once they submit your contact form, it actually takes them directly, redirects them to this booking page. So I'm going to copy it, go to tools, contact form. Make sure you have your set on the form that you like. And again, in settings, you're going to choose your own custom URL and then paste that scheduling link in there. And then make sure you select publish so that that change is now public. Okay, publish changes. So now what happens if somebody comes onto your booking page, they're gonna fill in their information. Whatever is required and click send. And it'll automatically redirect them to HoneyBook's booking page. They can choose a date and select a time. It will ask them for their information again. And then tell them the final session details and their confirmation. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this is now they're no longer on your website, your Squarespace website. And so they don't see your header, they can't click around your site any further. They then have to click back to go back to your website. They're not on your site anymore. So that's the one kind of downside I don't like to the HoneyBook scheduling. Um, but the nice thing is that if we go back to HoneyBook to our home section, when a person has booked, it automatically creates a project. So if we go to your projects, it automatically creates this section in HoneyBook where all of this client's information is held. Okay, so in here you can see the information they filled out. It has the um, booking that they actually did. You can then apply different files such as contracts and invoices. You can keep track of where they've come from if you've asked that in the form. You can add a to-do list for yourself and a time tracker to keep you on task and on, on schedule. Um, a workflow or an automation can be applied here. And so there's, there's so much that you can do within HoneyBook within this system and it's all in one place for this client, which is super nice. The second way to do this is to create a booking page in Squarespace that uses Squarespace's uh, booking system so that they stay on your site when they actually book a time. Uh, so what you would do is in pages, create another page. And I call this book a session time or something for you to know that this is different than the actual session that they're booking. And in here, I'm going to add a section. I like to say something like you're almost finished. 
choose your session time below so they know they can't they have to complete this step and then underneath you can add an appointment scheduling block underneath more Okay. If you already have an Acuity account, you can add an existing Acuity schedule or you can get started with scheduling. You can start your trial. See, I already have an Acuity account, so it's going to give me some error messages. Um, but in here, you're going to put your business name and industry. So I'm going to call this Rebecca Photography. The name of the appointment is engagement session. Okay, I can set a time. Maybe I'm going to do them Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. that golden hour okay. Okay, then you can go in here and you can set regular hours you can book off different sessions connect it to your Google calendar so that if a client books or you put in, let's say you have a doctor's appointment on this day, they can't book at that time. Okay, so you're gonna set up all of your information. I would also set up your client scheduling limits similar to how we did in HoneyBook. So how many hours a day can be filled? Is there a limit to how far in advance? So it has to be in 12 hours in advance, let's say, um, but at no more than this much in the future, that kind of stuff. Okay, so set up all of your information there. And then back on your page, you can add in which scheduling you would like them to do here. So this is the engagement session that I have all set up. I might even set this to a smaller width here and click save. And then similar to how we did the HoneyBook scheduling, I'm going to find the URL of this page, my booking page. And in Tools, Contact Form, I'm going to put in this new URL link. Okay, and then again, don't forget to publish your changes. And now when we go back to book a session, they would fill out their information. and click send and it will take them to your Squarespace booking page to fill out their information. So now when they book, they're still on your website that after they've booked a time, they're still on your site. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube or sign up for the freebie in my footer to be notified whenever I add a new tutorial to my blog. Until then, that is how you go from client inquiry to booking in Squarespace using HoneyBook.